<laughs> Hi everybody, it's Mikey from Usually Broken Cars. In today's episode, we are on the UK's cheapest GTI. And in actual fact, we are gonna do a Timu code reader. We've created a fault, so we've disconnected the air mass, I think is right, is what AJ said. So we've disconnected the air mass, and we're actually gonna plug in with this. After all of the uh, chat that people were saying about the Carly, we did a video on that a while ago, uh, we wanna see how well a 28 pound uh, code reader will do. So we'll open it up. Uh, in the box we have got, so this is the V519 OBD2 diagnostic. Um, it says it does quite a lot. We're gonna have a look and see what it actually does. But in the box we've got, doesn't look like a lot, uh, a tester. Um, let's get that open, see what's in there. So one tester, cable. Uh, it's got a USB-C in the bottom of it. There's a user manual. And I'm guessing maybe a German user manual. Um, okay. All right, let's plug it in and see what we get. Aaron has got the Autel, which is one of our sort of more entry level diagnostic equipment that we use at work, but still a fab bit of kit. It's just plugging in. We're going to check the diagnostic codes on the engine. We have disconnected the air mass meter, um, which is just here. So we've disconnected this because we know it will throw up a fault code. Ready? Yeah. P0100. Okay, so if you lift the ramps off. Mass or volume airflow. Yeah. No communication or signal. Okay, cool. So we'll leave that in and then we'll disconnect the Autel and then plug in our new eBay special. eBay special? Timu special. Sorry, Timu. It's got a it's got a does lot of weight it, to it. Does it Does it power itself from the OBD? I have no idea. We'll find out in a minute. Just wondered. It does? It does, okay. What have we got then, mate? Okay. Nice little Here display. OBD data stream. So I'm guessing just DTC library. Okay. Review voltage setup. Okay. So click OK. It's gonna do CAM protocol. One code found. Monitors. Read DT6, very quick. It is really quick, isn't it? Mass airflow. Okay, so that's the code, same code that we got. Okay, so if we come out, what else can we do from there? So if we start it up now, can we read it? Um, you know. um, yep, um, got live data. Any idea what PID would mean? Okay, so start her up and hopefully. DTC count zero. We haven't cleared the code yet, have we? No. Okay. Uh, system load. Coolant temp. That's in Fahrenheit. That'll be just in settings. Oh, okay, so you have to press right for the page. Oh, yeah. okay, so if you look up here, just there, tiny little count. Yeah, just turn that a little bit. You can see there's your the amount that you can do. So this has got 36 different live data readings. You can take a temp. Oh, Might be about temp. right, mm. it's about yeah, half. They're probably reading that from the boost meter. They often read it from the air mass meter. Okay. Uh, mass airflow there. Yep, okay. Zero. So if you start her up. So you can see straight away it started working because it's got the RPM. It's got straight to 86 pounds per minute. And it's not changing when you rev it. Okay. So if you exit out there, I'll connect it back up again. Mm -hmm. Maybe? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so that's showing you the code. Exit. Okay. Yes. Press OK again. Oh, there you go. Okay. So it might not be that intuitive. Okay, the code's gone. So it works. Timu code reader for £28. I think it's a bargain. I think it's worth keeping in your glove box. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it'll read codes, clear codes, give you live data um, in the right hands. Live data is most of what you need to, to diagnose a fault. Um, so, you know, it'll help you along those lines. It uh, is a little bit misleading with the with the picture of the, of the street, the data stream, yeah. which looks like you'll be able to scope. I must um, admit, I did think that it was going to scope, and I thought we'd be able to see the graphs, and I thought, you know, for £28, if it can show us a graph of what's going on, that would have been a fantastic bit of kit. Mm. But I think the functionality, for, for again, for £28, I think, Definitely worth, definitely worth, you know, having. Yeah, I mean, it's never going to replace a decent piece of, uh, like the Autel that we were using earlier. It's not going to replace that. But for something that you can chuck in your glove box, and if you're going on a road trip, like we did to Wales, I think that's perfect. Yeah. Somebody's engine management light comes on, you can plug yeah. in and just make sure it's nothing too serious. So yeah, It'll give you an idea. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks everybody for watching, and um, thanks again for your help, AJ. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.